Hi everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda and this is Gizmo. We're the village's newcomers. Today we're going to go on a golf cart ride. Linda's not going to go. <laughs> we have our youngest son Tanner with us and uh, he's going to ride shotgun today. And uh, Linda will be here to wrap it up after the video. It's a long one. It's about 55 minutes long. We drove down and uh, went through Chitty Chatty and Bradford and all the way to Citrus Grove and looked at Sawgrass and the Ezel Rec Center. And it's a good video and I think you'll like it. Sorry you didn't get to go. Well, I had some other things to do today. Come along with us and uh, we'll talk to you afterward. We're out for a car ride, it's December 29th. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful day. You can see people using the sidewalks along Hillsborough Trail here to walk. Hey, Janet. have a different co-pilot with me today on this ride. Our youngest son, Tanner. Tanner, thanks for coming, buddy. It's a pleasure to be here, Dad. Tanner is on leave from the Air Force. See that diamond in the uh, trail up ahead? That tells it's a special use trail. This one can have golf carts, bicycles, but not automobiles. I'm going a little slower than usual. Remember that golf carts are supposed to go 20 miles an hour or less. If they go faster than that, they have to be registered as a street legal vehicle. You can get some pretty expensive fines for doing so. Merging here, you may have heard the beeper. Now it's a single lane, you see the gate up ahead. We cannot go through that gate. We have to turn left or right here. Left would go north on Morse Boulevard, but we're gonna go south. Today we're going down to the new area. That's what we still call it here. And we're gonna check out the progress that we showed you about a month ago. Maybe, maybe more than that. It's been a while since we did a car ride. Tanner, what do you think of the villages? I love it down here. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's fun. Uh, endless list of things you can do. So it's always fun visiting mom and dad down here. Oh, I tell you, we love to have you. Here's a bicyclist coming down the multimodal trail. Golf cart right on her tail. She's not wearing a helmet. We highly recommend you wear helmets. Since I'm going a little slower, I'm going to pull over up here and uh, let these carts go by me. This is a little impromptu dog park up here. It's actually just a little field, beautiful green grass, and people bring their dogs here all the time. That lady has three. That's a lot of pooper scooper. You like big dogs or little dogs, Tan? I like them all. Any dog I can. That is a good dog. I love dogs too. Gizmo, he he's kind of a small dog. You know, he's supposed to be a miniature dachshund, but he went and got too big. He weighs 15 pounds. That's way over the limit for a for a miniature. But how about these little Yorkies that weigh five pounds? They are tiny. Here's a divided trail, as you can see. This is a dangerous portion of the trail if you're a walker or a biker because there's not a lot of room, but they're so pretty. There's some walkers you can see on the other side there. By the way, I apologize if that camera is a little shaky, as usual. There's just no good way for me to mount a camera on this golf cart. I have image stabilization going but it's still giving you some vibration. A 
That guy had a stroller. He was jogging with his baby in the stroller. I saw him about a mile and a half back. Did you? I didn't catch it. We forgot something and headed home and uh, got it and came back. Man, that's impressive. All right, here we go. We're going to have to go under Morse Boulevard. I'll wait for this bicycler. So, uh, bicycler, bicyclist. Cross under Morse Boulevard here. One of the many, many tunnels. Tunnel M14. Straight ahead, you see a fence. That is Burnsed Rec Center. That's where we play bocce. Beautiful pool there. And it's a pool you can bring kids to. You know, kids can't come to the neighborhood pools. You have to be 30 years old. Pickleball courts, tennis courts. This is a great rec center. It's kind of a done in frontier style. It's uh, his log cabin. You'll see in front of us the entrance to Osceola Hills. It has several different, different entrances. What a day, don't you think? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. You might have noticed that cart had Ohio State Buckeye sticker on the front. There's a Buffalo Bills sticker. People cheer on their favorite college or pro teams, decorate their golf carts quite a bit. What decoration would you put on your golf cart? Oh, no doubt I'm putting Indiana Hoosiers on mine. How about you? Well, come on. Everybody knows I've got a Notre Dame on mine. Actually, I had a huge leprechaun on the front of my last golf cart. I sold that cart and I took it off. Tried to save it, but I ripped him. A couple of uh, bicyclists got a golf cart right on their tail. There's a John Deere on our right, picking up palm fronds that blew down. I don't know when they blew down. We haven't had a storm for a while. Sometimes they just come down on their own. Over on the left, you see one of the neighborhood rec centers. That's a postal station, probably Osceola Hills. This is the southern entrance to Osceola Hills straight ahead. Oh, you've seen us take this ride before. We haven't seen any progress yet, have we? But when we cross over that bridge down here, you're going to see some. That's the Chitty Chatty Bridge. That's the name of it. We'll go ahead because that cart cannot come through. Walls, like you saw there, usually surround a courtyard villa or maybe a veranda home. In this case, though, it's just uh, separating a preserve. We're using two cameras today. Tanner's going to be panning to show you the side views, and I'll be showing you the straight ahead view with the mounted camera. Here's a shot of Morse Boulevard. We're traveling along. It's a busy street, Morse Boulevard. Two lanes going north, two lanes going south. As we continue on this divided path. There's a city furniture truck. So many of you ask about getting furniture. How do you do it? Do you bring your old furniture? Do you buy new furniture? Is there a waiting list? Is the furniture all offshore on a big ship waiting to be unloaded? Probably the answer to all those is yes. Now we're approaching Lake Deaton Plaza. You see this entrance here on the right? That goes over to Soaring Eagle, a softball complex where they also have an air rifle range. You can go over there and shoot your air rifle. 
beautiful softball courts. There's the pond where uh, Linda and I gave the maiden voyage to our kayak. We're not using that much anymore since Linda saw our last big alligator. Oh, there's a peloton. A group of bicyclists. They get together, there are lots of clubs here for bicyclers. I know I'm not saying that right. Bicycler? Cyclists. Cyclists. That's what you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Our viewers know that I don't talk right. They know what I mean. <laughs> Here's the Rohan Rec Center. That is a dandy. That's a regional rec center. You can do a lot of things there. And I think we're on Christine Way, and I think we're going to turn right and roll across that Chitty Chitty Bridge. I when, see it. when we're on the bridge, I'll give you some, uh, Tanner will anyway, give you some side shots of Highway 44. These bridges are so impressive. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a fancy bridge. Very nice. It looked different than we expected. It's wrought iron, but it really looks good with that village's logo on both sides. Now here's a side look, looking down 44. That camera's looking down toward uh, Buena Vista, toward Spar Hardware, um, Brownwood Paddock Square. As we come out here, we're gonna show you some courtyard villas. I bet Tanner can raise that up over this wall a little bit. They were not here, remember, when we came? Look at it now. People live here. And those are nice villas. You may remember that some of those were using the precast walls. And we sat down here and actually watched a crane set something into place. Living down here, you're close to a lot of physical activity like walking trails, biking trails. You can uh, join the drone club or shoot your air gun. RC cars up here are fun. They're over at the Everglades Rec Center. That's a little bit away from here, but it's still on the southern side here. Bless you. Excuse me. These are courtyard villas. I don't have any carts behind me right now, but I got a couple of bicycles. So maybe they'll pass me. We're going slow to give you a less bumpy ride. <laughs> Sorry. You know, Tanner sneezed a couple of times. I'm gonna let these bicycles go by. Hey, look at that car. That's pretty cool. One thing about this southern area down here, lots of ponds, lots of water features, beautiful hiking trails, and many of them are uh, homes here back up to the woods, to wooded areas. Tanner's getting good footage of a little pond here behind these homes. People ask us all the time, are there alligators in this water? Hey, if it's water, there are alligators here. Another divided trail, it's gonna to come together here as those bicycles exit the path. Now they're on a regular street. That might be Aiken Way, I'll bet it is. You see, we're right under some big power lines. Can you see those? That's how the villages makes use of the land here. You can't put a house underneath them, so we can put some multimodal trails. Boy, on both sides of the road, you can't see it. There are pools going in. 
the pool business is very, very popular here. As is landscaping. Right here you see a landscape crew doing their thing. You know, I wonder when we go by people like that that are working hard and making a living and they're looking at us retired folks in our golf cart of all things. I think I would have resented that back when I was working. There's an alligator over there, Tanner. Can you see him on the far bank? Uh, let me see here. Right over there. Oh, yeah. Kind of hard to see. He's not a big one. He's about six feet long. There's a wood stork up here prancing around in the water. See that wood stork right there. Hello. There's the male chitty chatty male center and pool. Now here's the lady here. You see what she's doing up ahead? She's walking with traffic and not against traffic. So if it's an electric cart especially, you could run right up on her and she wouldn't know it. She should be walking on the other side. And if you are one of our viewers and you watch this later, I'm not cracking on you. I'm just trying to help you out. We're still in Chitty Chatty. When we leave Chitty Chatty, we're gonna be in Bradford. Here's the other end of Aiken Way. Our good buddies, Jim and Terry, live on Aiken Way. And you gotta remember that this area is not more than a couple years old at most. So it's still growing in and it's beautiful already. It's really gonna be gorgeous when these trees get mature. Notre Dame Fighting Irish family right there. You know they're good folks. <laughs> See the ponds? You can't go hardly a couple of hundred yards without coming to a new water feature. This particular area right here is really pretty. So they left a few of the big live oak trees in and designed the path to go around them instead of through them. the peloton on the other side there. A lot of people get exercise. You know that's what you come to the villages for. I mean, let's get real. Can you buy a home cheaper somewhere else? Yes, you can. But the lifestyle that accompanies the homes here, that's what makes them so popular. Right here is a trail that's only for bicycles and walkers. And of course, another big water feature. Courtyard Villas straight ahead. I don't know, they might be veranda homes. See that truck up there, the green truck? That's uh, pest control service. That is a very competitive business here in the villages. Many people do their own, but most people hire it out and there are no shortage of companies that'll be willing to do that for you. This is Bradford right here. Across the road, you can see that white fence right there. That is part of Continental Country Club. My buddies and I like to play golf over there on occasion. I think they have condos in there. They're either condos or apartments. But we're south of 44 down here now. We're in the Southern Oaks area. 
In fact, we'll be going by the Southern Oaks uh, Golf Course here pretty soon if we stay out here long enough today. Our cart, our golf cart, both of them are two seaters. They don't have a bench seat like my golf cart did before. So we can't seat three people. So we decided to let Tanner come along on this ride instead of Linda. Sorry everybody if you're missing Linda. We'll get her in on the beginning and end of the show so, so they can at least see her today. We're cruising along at 16 miles an hour, just in case you're wondering. These homes on the left are designer homes. There's a Michigan fan right there. They're gonna be in the big game this week. How about all those college teams that are opting out of their bowl games because of of COVID protocols. Some of them didn't even have any sick players, but had people that were exposed to people. Here we go. Here's a card going to pass me. That's a Wisconsin fan. See it? Here's the second entrance for Bradford. It's December 29th. When do you guys take your Christmas decorations down? We still have hours up. I think we normally wait until uh, New Year's Day to take ours down, isn't that right? We'll do it on New Year's Day. We like, oh, there's a trolley. Look at that, you see it there? The trolleys are back in business. And where do those go to and from? Well, things change, but there were three trolley tours, one for the north, the Spanish Springs area, the historic area, one for the Brownwood area, Sumter Landing, and there's one that operates down here. So I don't know, we have not gone, we've only gone on one. Linda and I have gone on the historic tour a gator way over there and more bicyclists over on the right you see aviary rec center i point that out on the trip down here when we come uh, that's where you can go and see that magnificent eagle sculpture made of paper it's really beautiful Oh, and here's one of my favorite birds up here. But there's only one. It's the majestic white pelican. He's a lone ranger. I saw 20 or 30 a week or two ago. But he's over here in this little body of water. I'll pull in here. We'll get a look at him because they're worth looking at. Oh, look, I scared the whole crew. <laughs> But not the pelican. That's a big bird, isn't it? Wow. That is neat. Look at the head on that thing. He's in there with all kinds of ducks. I I know some, but I don't know all my ducks. I don't know what those, those things are he's with there. They look like uh, anhingas, maybe. And there's little ducks out there that have like a buffalo head on them. If you are a bird watcher, you're going to love the villages, especially in the winter months. It's really something down here. All right, back on the road. Linda gets real nervous when I get side hill like this. But Tanner doesn't. Tanner's a daredevil. 
I'm real proud of Tanner. I'm going to ring his bell here while he's with me. He won't like this, but uh, Tanner is a graduate of the United States Air Force Academy, and we are so proud of him. Go Falcons. Just so, won our, our football game last night. That's right. They beat the Louisville Cardinals. Tanner now is stationed in South Carolina. He flies the C-17. He's a pilot. That is an incredibly big and beautiful airplane. And Tanner, I know you, you never brag, but uh, we were very proud because Tanner was involved in that airlift of refugees out of Afghanistan. That had to be a cool experience. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget it. We're down here now traveling along Megason Boulevard, I believe. Megason Road, they call it. There's a red golf cart, an easy go. Now, most golf carts you see down here are going to be Yamaha, like that one, and the one behind it. But once in a while, you'll see another brand, maybe the Atomic Carts, or maybe Easy Go, or a club car. And there are some other ones, the Gem. If you guys had your own golf cart, what color would you want? We had a gold cart, and I sold that and got a red cart. And Linda has a yellow cart, as you know. Our good friend Nancy just bought a green cart. See all the new palm trees? These were planted within the last, probably, eight or ten months and straight ahead you're seeing sawgrass some more cool ducks down there sawgrass is going to be a happening place here before too long they're going to have entertainment they'll have stores and over to the right tanner's panning over there for you right now that is southern oaks championship golf course Linda and I had the pleasure of playing there. We're traveling alongside Sawgrass, holding up that golfer. And another one, they can't wait to get to the golf course. When you have a tee time, you got to get there. You don't want to get behind a lollygagger. They still have the construction fence up here around Sawgrass, so it's not quite ready. But right back there behind the fence always is the Ezel Recreation Center, and it is open. We went on a tour. I guess it's open. We were on a tour of it, so we got to go inside and see it. It's, it's beautiful. And right here we see bocce courts and shuffleboard courts, horseshoe pits, cornhole and one of those outdoor rec areas. And we're in the village of Citrus Grove. See the pro shop, or not pro shop, but the uh, starter shack for Southern Oaks right over there. Some villas on the left. These are not old, probably a year old or so. See the two stanchions in front of us here? As we've mentioned on other shows, you cannot go in there with a golf cart. You can ride your bike in there, you can walk in there, you can jog in there, you can skip in there, but you can't take your golf cart in there. Tanner, I'd like to get you on that Southern Oaks golf course. I think you'd yeah, like it. it looks pretty. Right now with the trees being small, it kind of puts you in the mind of a British Open style course. 
traveling down Megason Road. We're going to go down to uh, an area where we watched them feverishly building homes last time we were down. See if there's been much progress. This is very similar to Hillsboro Trail or Pinellas Place. It is a road that you share with cars and golf carts at the same time. You want to be careful as I'm driving here. You see the white line in front of me. If I get too far over like this, I could actually be sideswiped by a car. So I want to be very careful. You see the power lines up ahead? There are a lot of power lines down here. There's the Citrus Grove mail station and pool over here to the right. the end of December people are in there in the pools yeah that's great now the pools here are heated I don't think I'd get in it today if it wasn't heated but it'll be it'll be somewhere around 83 degrees maybe 84 it feels really good when the weather is 80 75 70 and you touch the pool that's 83 it feels really nice still though I'm one of those guys that puts his toe in then I stick it in another little bit, then I little ease down in it. I don't like to jump in. It's a shock to my system. You know, on the next door app today, there's a big thread about people are angry when people walk their dogs and their dog goes to the bathroom in somebody's yard. Now, of course, we'd all be angry if they left that mess behind, but these folks were angry even if they picked it up because they didn't even want them going there in the first place. I understand. People get territorial. But still, you know, like Gizmo said a couple weeks ago, he goes on the fire hydrant across the street every day, multiple times a day and that grass still is green. We're going to turn in here. These homes were totally slabs and sticks and being framed up last time we were down here. Now there's already people moved in. That is cool. The area down here is growing by leaps and bounds. We had the question this week, uh, last Mailbag Monday, uh, from a viewer that was, I don't know, a little anxious because they wanted to buy a home here, but every time the homes went up for sale, people jump on them so fast that if you're not Johnny on the spot, you miss out. And it looks like that's going on down here because Hey, there are people living here. And right out here I can see, and you can see, lots more activity. Wow. And I'm seeing a pond there. A big plastic uh, tarp. That's going to be a, a retention pond for something. And over there, lots of building going on, lots of earth moving. Don't know what that's going to be. Trying to turn around. I don't want to get on somebody's grass. If they don't like uh, dogs on their grass, they certainly won't like my golf cart. A 
Linda does most of the walking for Gizmo, and we're very sensitive about where he goes and doesn't go. Because there are some people that have let Linda know, keep your dog off my yard. You know, I don't think they do that much damage. Now we were house sitting. I wouldn't really call it house sitting, more just kind of watching a neighbor's house while they were gone a few weeks ago. And there was some waste from an animal in the yard and it had hair in it. And I'm 95% sure that was from a coyote. You know, so sometimes these homeowners could find waste in their yard and it could be from a raccoon or it could be from a coyote or a fox. And it's not impossible it would be a bear. You remember we had a bear in our driveway. See the fellow up here, I'm sorry about that speed bump there. He's got a hat on, that is for sun protection. You need that protection down here. Good job. I want to take a look at uh, right here. You can see this uh, villa has the straight driveway, straight into the garage with a full two car garage. That would make entering and exiting a little bit easier than the curved driveways, I would think. And over here is yet another one. I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to point the camera at it here. You have two garages there. Can you see that? One for a golf cart and the other for a car. Oh, wow. Interesting. That corner unit. Here's one another one that has it right there. Just another choice, I guess. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty nice though. Yeah. You don't have to worry about dinging your car when you're pulling your golf cart in and out. Yeah, there's, there's another right there. Looks to be common down here. When you see a home has a statue out front or something more than the very basic plantings that come with a new house, you know that it's already been moved in. See that little car ahead of us? That's another one of the lawn care companies. And we are leaving Margaret Villas. We'll turn into Dalton Villas to give you a look at some more different villas down here. Again, the straight driveway, two car garage. Now here's one with a one car garage, one and a half maybe. All of these homes appear to be vinyl siding. I can see this one has a carport and a garage. So lots of variations on the plans here. And there's this one, that's pretty cool. That's the two car garage and a smaller golf cart garage. Nice. that garage door. Let's see if we can get up there. Very interesting. That is a mural. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Different garage look there. Hey, how about that for a wall up there? 
That is a big old wall. I'll keep the sound out, that's for sure. Ten, ten feet high. And that was just a quick run through. We're going to leave Dalton Villas. Look there, along the, the sidewalk over there, please clean up after your dog. That's what I'm talking about. That's public grass right there. And somebody still felt the need to go out there and put a sign up. Jameson Loop, we'll go around the loop here. We did this for you about a month and a half ago or two. Very nice homes on this little street, you like them? Yeah, I do like these houses. Tanner, we have the, um, I know you park your car outside in Charleston, where you live. Down here, a lot of people do park their cars in their driveways. Mm -hmm. And other people actually use their garage for what it's intended, to, to house your car. <laughs> what do you think about parking in the driveway? Uh, it just depends on what, uh, what you prioritize, I guess. Yeah. Some people want to do things in their garage. You can't do that too much if you've got a car in there. Well, you know, but you can, like we, like I have woodworking tools. I back the car out, use the tools, put the car back. I'm not saying that's the way to do it. That's my way to do it. There's two double garages right there. I didn't use, that's not good grammar, is it? There is two double garages. There are two. I'll tell you, if you live in Central Florida and you don't have a job, I think it's because you don't want to work. That is if you're healthy enough to work because they need landscapers and pest control and carpenters and roofers. Whoa, did you see that uh, surfboard in there? Oh my gosh, I didn't know they got that big. There's Blockhouse before it's actually finished. They're gonna put stucco right over that. We had an excellent tutorial on house building from uh, Greg a few weeks ago. Did you guys watch that? He showed us his lot from start to finish when they built his house. It was amazing. See, here's some more folks. Trim workers. Closet builders. Driveway painters. I mean, there are jobs here. Lots of jobs here. Porta pots. You could be one of the porta pot people. Another lawn care. That guy rides with his feet up. He's got a rolling recliner. Did you see that? Yeah. We are right under the power lines right now. You feel any different? I don't. 
Oh, you can get money for having those in your backyard, can't you? Get money? I don't know. You could probably get some free electricity. The hair on the back of my neck stood up a little. I did have a friend back in Indiana that uh, the gas company, uh, Underground Natural Gas, dug on his farm and found gas, and so they paid him to have a little oil or a little uh, gas well on his property. During the day here in the villages, you're going to see lots and lots of traffic from those lawn care people and uh, builders, concrete men, painters. And if you noticed, have you noticed, Tanner, that these ponds all have multiple pumps in them that yep. uh, stimulate the water? Because honestly, mosquitoes are a problem here in Florida. Now we, we aren't bothered by them at all, but part of that is because these pumps keep that water from becoming stagnant. I see this little pond here to the left of me that you're not filming has four aerators in the pond. Hello. If you sit outside at night in your lawn chair, Oh yeah, that's a nice gator. We missed it. We didn't get a picture of him, but uh, he was a pretty decent size. You know, it, it kills me that people will come here and live, and they'll live here six months, and we'll talk to them, and they'll say, "We haven't seen a gator." I said, "Really? Wow! You're you're just not looking in the right places." Yeah, you won't find one in your backyard or come walking down your street, most likely, but they're out here. I've been here three days and I think I've seen probably close to 10. Yeah. I'd like to see some baby gators. I have never yet seen a baby gator here. I've seen one up at Apopka, but I haven't seen any here in the villages. I know they're here. Probably, well, I, I heard some people say they saw a bunch of them down at uh, the Marsh View Pitch and Putt right there by Edna's on the green. And probably at the Fenny Nature Trail, you can probably see some, but I haven't seen it. We're still on Megason Road. Coming up to that starter shack once again on the Southern Oaks Golf Course. Gonna merge right here. Now I can't go beyond. Do you see the, the sign there? Tanner will probably point it out. No carts beyond this point. If I go up there, I'd get in the roundabout. That'd be a dangerous situation. So I'm back here on the multimodal trail. Have you accidentally gotten onto a uh, roundabout before out here? Linda has, I haven't. But we were driving the other night on the way to church we got at the end of Rolling Acres Road and uh, Highway 441. And there was a golf cart that got out onto that busy intersection and that was a real no-no. Hey, what were those little things over there? I believe they are workout machines. No, no, those little things that are on those machines. Oh, they're children. Ah. Yeah, we haven't seen children for a while. bad humor. I'll drive back here at Ezel, show you guys the Ezel Rec Center. That's the swimming pool straight ahead. They've got their own roundabout in here. You've got a Clifton Cove putting course is going in here if it's not in already. Come 
around the roundabout. There's the sign for the Ezel Recreation Center. Sawgrass right ahead of us there. There's a look at Ezel. Show you a few shots from inside. Hey, look at that palm tree up here. Let's get a picture of that, Tanner. Isn't that amazing? They're just getting ready to set that. It has not been unfurled yet. Wow. That is quite a palm tree right there. That's a monster. That's beautiful. And look at the sculpting that's been done on that thing. I don't know that I've ever seen one quite that interesting. That board is on there to keep that keep it in one piece until they they uh, take it down. I'm anxious to see what that looks like when they when they uh, bring it down. Hello. You know, people that tell us that they've uh, purchased or have just moved into new homes here in Citrus Grove, I believe that it's going to be a really fun place to live because of all the activities. Let's look at that sign right there. Did you see it? But the sign is made out of orange crates. Kind of neat. You know, parts of the villages were designed by the designers of Disney, and they really go the extra mile to make things interesting and fun. Strategically placed restrooms. Coming soon, the putting course. Oh, look right here in front of us you can get a look at it before it opens it looks pretty nice yeah i don't think they have put in the greens yet or if they have well, i guess they have put greens in but the holes aren't cut and they're probably letting that mature a little bit before they let traffic onto it that'll be fun mm -hmm. it's like a putt putt on grass they have one down in uh finney putt and play the putt and play and the pitch and putt are different. The pitch and putt, you take three or four golf clubs and you hit shots, um, wedge shots, chip shots, and, and then you will finish out the hole by putting. The putt and play is strictly a miniature golf uh, on real grass and it's really cool. Now you see the sign here, no carts beyond this point. You can't go out there, that's danger. And back we go. Tanner's young. He's in his mid-20s. This is not uh, for you, but can you see why we like it? Oh, yeah. I believe they call it uh, Disney World for adults. Yeah, it's like, like a Disney for adults. Some people call it a cruise ship. For retirees. She's walking on the wrong side. At one time, I was a pretty serious photographer and I had a lens that was the envy of most people. It was a 500 F4 Canon EF lens and I could really get the wildlife. I don't have that lens anymore, but boy, it would come in handy down here. It's those ducks we just saw, all different varieties. See that fella and his German Shepherd. People love to ride the golf carts with their best friends.
think we'll head over to the Aviary Rec Center. I'll show Tanner that big bald eagle sculpture and then we'll head back. I hope you guys have enjoyed the trip. We always enjoy uh, riding in our golf cart and enjoy bringing you all the sights and sounds. We hope you've enjoyed it too. That's it. What'd you think? A great video. I was so anxious to see all the uh, everything booming up and building and the, the improvements that are happening. Wow. Yeah, you know, 55 minutes flies by when you're in the golf cart. I didn't realize it was going to be that long a video. I hope you enjoyed it. And listen, if you didn't know already, we have a new t-shirt supplier. Um, they're out of Idaho, but they sell the t-shirts through Etsy. So you can order, pick your size, and you can pay online easy as pie. So give that a look if you're interested in one of our shirts. And please send us a photo after you get them because we love to see those. We sure do. And we'll put it on Mailbag Monday for you. Thanks to all of you that have been writing in. We, uh, we really appreciate that. If you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here.